just go ahead and this formula i see you have unmuted yourself so go ahead Chief. yeah <laughs> so uh, when you asked us to you know uh, imagine that indigo light mm -hmm. and also our personal space so although the indigo light uh, imagination you asked but uh, all i could imagine was a pure white space with mm -hmm. certain of my favorite things mm -hmm. but that white light kept on uh, you know repeating that picture i i could see that again and again mm -hmm. Okay, so that's absolutely, I think, fine, Urbila, because I think you are connected more with the white space, bringing you that peace and calmness within you. Okay. Yeah, so that's absolutely okay. fine. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for sharing that, Urbila. Awesome. How about others? Any questions, any experiences, any reflections? हेलो मैम यस आप अपना स्पेस आपके घर का एक रूम क्रिएट कर सकते हो या अपने ही मन में आपको जैसा आपका पसंदीदा जगह होनी चाहिए उस तरह से आप बना सकते हो क्योंकि बहुत बार ऐसा कई लोगों का होता है कि जहाँ पे वो रह रहे हैं वो उस तरह की जगह नहीं होती है जैसा वो चाहते हैं इसीलिए हम इस जो आज हमने थर्ड आई वाला चक्र का मेडिटेशन किया है उसमें हमने अपने आपकी एक स्पेस क्रिएट किए जो आपको पसंद होगी जैसे ही आप उस स्पेस के बारे में सोचोगे आपको वो सक्सेस नजर आएंगे जो आपके हेल्थ से रिलेटेड है वेल्थ से रिलेटेड है आपके करियर से रिलेटेड है आपके रिलेशनशिप से रिलेटेड है सो so, आप अपनी खुद की एक जगह कर सकते हो आपके खुद का घर का एक कोई कमरा हो सकता है जो आपको पसंद है या आपने खुद एक इमेजिन किया है कि इस तरह से एक रूम मेरा होना चाहिए गुड थैंक यू स्वप्ना ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल स्पेस I have for myself. Thank you so much. Feeling so happy. Awesome, Swapna. Good to know that you are feeling really very very happy and uh, created your own beautiful space. Thanks for sharing that. Anybody else would like to share or talk about? Hi, Puna. Hey, hi, Minal. Go ahead. So, So, I could not completely uh, stay focused till till the the end. Okay. Maybe, okay. maybe a minute before you was was able to focus. Again, mm -hmm. uh, about the imagination of the personal space. Uh, there was a part of it which I was able to imagine and I wasn't able to go beyond it. okay and uh, i don't know i am having some back ache and lower back ache so i think that was not allowing me to focus uh, however you know uh, i tried i tried mm -hmm. punam that's absolutely fine meenal uh, see not everybody would be able to do because uh, probably you are kind of doing this th third eye chakra cleansing for the first time so what happens is that uh, you need a lot of uh, i would say healing and cleansing to be done and because you might also would have had this physical pain in your body you might have felt a little discomfort also so yeah, that's because i am usually very good at uh, you know if whenever there is any kind of a guided meditation mm -hmm. which is being done one i love doing it and second i'm like uh i would be the last one to open my eyes and mm -hmm. would want like to come out of it to be very uh, frank but because of the discomfort in my lower back i am like i couldn't focus till the end of it yeah and that's absolutely fine you can listen to the recording and other aspect of the thing could be also here is in terms of 
uh, because the third eye today, what we are focusing on is getting the clarity and uh, releasing any stress or blockages that we have in terms of not making the right decisions, not getting the clarity for our health, wealth, relationships, all of these areas. So that is very natural because now when you're talking about that your lower back is having a slight discomfort, the lower back part of your body refers to your root chakra. So root chakra and the third eye, there is a connection that we can build in out here. So connections, root chakra is related to the manifestations of your physical health, also related to your materialistic things in your life, like mm -hmm. money and any other material things that you're working towards, and also your physical health. Uh, the third eye that we're talking about today is to give you that clarity and decision-making power and that willpower to work towards achieving your materialistic things and your physical health. So now what I could interpret from this aspect that you have shared. So my interpretation and my view is here that you need to really work on healing, of course, your uh, root chakra to improve your physical health. And of course, whatever your medical treatment is going on for your back or any of the other. Uh, oh, I just went for a trek and there has been this discomfort since okay, last. So it's just the, because of the trek part. Then the, I think then it's absolutely okay. That would go away. But in today's meditation, the only connection that I can build up out here is in terms of that definitely you need to work on healing your root chakra to make it more stronger and getting the clarity associated with your physical health and the materialistic goals that you would have. Especially the finances part is what I can sense right now when I'm just talking to you and analyzing your energies. So you may want to work towards getting the clarity in terms of your finances, in terms of your health if that's the area that you're focusing upon. And is there any yeah, other area? Or, or, yeah. I know, like, uh, we should never question how when we are manifesting things. Mm -hmm. But this how always comes into my mind whenever, uh, you know, I am manifesting for something. And which wasn't the case before. I don't know why it is so this time. That how will it happen? That question okay. always comes to my mind. So, you know, there is a limiting belief somewhere. Mm -hmm. And why this time, I, I really don't know. Okay. So let me ask you, which area of your uh, life were you, or which area were you focusing for the manifestation? Uh, I like career, to be very mm -hmm. honest, and, and finances. Okay. So uh, am I doing bad there? No, not at all. But I am looking for a breakthrough because with the kind of experience I mm -hmm. have, yeah. uh, I feel I deserve to be at a better position. Okay, that's great. So that's uh, thanks for sharing that meal because that uh, definitely showcases the connection that we're looking for during the healing sessions right now is uh, because that clarity in terms of that breakthrough that you're looking for is not there. That's why what is happening, and in, that's my perspective of the energy analysis right now, is that that is the reason why probably at this point of time, understanding what that breakthrough is going to be is something which you need to work upon. And or what would you define as a breakthrough for yourself in terms of your career and finances needs to be defined if it is not done. And that's where your how part will disappear. Because the analysis that I'm doing right now for, for you on your energies, that gives me an indication that probably you need to get more clarity in terms of how you would define your breakthrough for your career and for your finances. Of course, you may have a particular number, but maybe it could also be that you're not feeling just connected with it right now. And that's the point that you precisely said, maybe a limiting belief. And if I look from that perspective, then you have to focus definitely on your root chakra healing for sure. And the third eye chakra to get you the clarity in your breakthroughs, uh, what it actually means for you in terms of your career and in your finances. Then that how part will start getting uh, materialized for you. Like we'll start getting more clarity in those aspects. I hope, you know, I was like kind of able to help you answer some points at least. 
Yes, yes, Puna. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. sharing that and asking the question, Meenal. Great. Anybody else? I see a lot of them. Aarti says, awesome session. I could feel energies near third eye. Message I was getting is to relax and have faith. Initially, I had heaviness in the left hand and leg. Okay. So I hope, Aarti, you're feeling better right now. And no heaviness in your hands and legs. Shilpa says, thank you so much for the energetic session. Welcome. Thanks, Swati. Abhay says, great session as usual. You're simply amazing. Thanks a lot, Abhay. Uh, Vinodini says, feeling relaxed, calm, and much confidence than earlier I have. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thanks a lot. And Rina says, today's session I really enjoyed as I could feel and see the life I wish I have in my space defined. That's really awesome, Rina. Only area of concern was the moment initially you asked to start focusing on the third eye. I felt heavy pressure in my right sinus. And that's okay, Rina, because when we, we're not used to focusing on our third eye and getting that clarity, it also at times leads to a lot of fear. What if I have so many things and I start dropping a few of those things just out of the fear? That's absolutely okay. But I'm happy, Rina, that you were able to create your own space with the things that you would really want into that space. So thanks for sharing that, Rina, and it's really nice. Great. And what else? So Vrishali says, thank you so much, Puna, ma'am. It was calm and soothing energy. I felt Prativa says, feeling very relaxed. Awesome. Great. So any other questions or inputs or experience to share, please do let me know. I'm here for some more time. Great. So if no further questions, then we would end our session for today.